dear students and farmers i am very happy to meet you again after a gap of one week in that week uh, lessons were uh, given by my colleague uh, dr r nagarajan especially on crop other interaction on certain selected crops so basically now we move to the central core of our uh, lessons this is very very important for this uh, central point only we have uh, discussed something earlier to understand this uh, topic very well so considering this today we like to discuss on types of weather forecasts and uh, details it is very very important having understood properly on crop production risk weather sensitive crops weather sensitive stages weather sensitive your uh, farm operations and crop other interaction it is now we have come to to discuss on the types of weather forecast and uh, their details now let me say what is weather forecast this must be understood properly so forecasting may be defined in different way forecasting is a general word forecasting your astrology forecasting something so forecasting weather is something different from other things so forecasting future weather change in spatial is very very important and also temporal spatial means different locations and temporal means within between months and other things so two dimensions are there by employing different uh, scientific tools this is very very important so forecasting future weather change in spatial and temporal dimension by employing different scientific tools is very very important it can be also defined as predicting future weather change in spatial and temporal dimension i have changed here future weather change in spatial and i have used new word against forecasting used predicting again i like to define in a third way foretelling so the only forecasting predicting foretelling are differing from the same statement others are very very similar so weather forecasting is nothing but pretelling or foretelling or predicting or informing the people of the anticipated weather events to be expected now let us move to somewhere the scales of meteorological motion this is very very important unless you understand the meteorological scale it is very difficult to develop weather forecast or uh, to interpret uh, weather forecast or uh, something else so one is planetary scale the word itself indicates that it covers the entire uh, the part of uh, different uh, countries see this horizontal scale is 2000 to 5000 km and more than that so entire india is being covered under horizontal scale and the vertical scale is 10 km so you are covering entire troposphere that we were discussing uh, the first week troposphere see from the polar it is 8 km from the equator it is um, 10 to 11 km so it goes up to 10 km uh, depth then time scale 200 to 400 hours this uh, weather system once it develops the scale develops the weather system stays for 200 to 400 hours it can be divided by 24 hours to make a days so this is the planetary scale okay then coming to the synaptic scale this is some other scale the horizontal uh, distance is 500 to 2000 kilometers maybe a state or two or three states southern india east india western india so by doing this uh, scale only the indian southwest monsoon being uh, predicted in under long uh, range forecast east india what would be the rain west india what would be rain south india what would be rain and north india what would be rain and the vertical scale also you are covering complete entire troposphere and the time scale is 100 hours now coming to the meso scale climate this is uh, between the micro and uh, your macro climate these uh, both planetary and the synaptic scales are macro um, climate then meso climate this is uh, one to 100 km horizontal maybe a district or a part of district then uh, vertical uh, is 1 to 10 km and the time scale is 1 to 16 hours 
coming to the micro level if you talk about macro level there must be also the extreme micro level also is this is less than than 100 meter not kilometer meter it is only 200 meter small scale and uh, not hours is uh, 16 to 12 minutes so this is the scale being used to develop a weather uh, forecast in uh, meteorology and also it is being applied in um, agriculture also so moving to the next slide methods of weather forecasting how weather forecast is being given what are the methods uh, the, the the institution uh, they adopt synaptic method we were seeing synaptic scale now under the same scale we use synaptic method the characters using weather elements observations at surface level surface observatories and upper level made from different locations okay the weather chart is prepared to indicate present status of atmosphere that is your weather weather is day to day change in the atmosphere so by using surface observatory observations upper level observations of different locations a weather chart is prepared indicating the present status of the atmosphere then present weather what was happening in the earlier week were also studied plus the information is satellite is also being put together and also we examine analog years analysis when this type of weather occurred in the past so what was the impact how the weather system moved so based on all those things they develop weather forecast for coming 5 days or 6 days or 7 days according to the type of the forecast this is a good method this is still being adopted in india and the second method is statistical method in the case of the statistical method multiple regression arima model arithmetic regression integrated moving average this method is being used especially for developing long range weather forecast that we will be discussing in the next slides the third one is advanced method numerical weather prediction the atmosphere is divided into so many profiles and each profile you measure the temperature humidity wind speed and all those atmospheric vapor pressure everything then you put under matrix of different layers then you produce equations so equation drawn from coriolis force frictional force pressure gradient from force and gravitational force are integrated in the multiple equation and it becomes a model it's a very cumbersome and a precise model model is run from the present to future so initial condition is very very important this is very very important model is run from present to future what is happening now and what will happen in future then for that you have to put initial condition initial unless you put initial condition what is happening today it is impossible to uh, go for the future what well, i like to say in our home example without any foundation you cannot build in a castle or any building so initial condition is very very important these are the methods being used to develop weather forecast now after studying the meteorological scale and the meteorology to be used now what are the types of forecast that exist in the world especially in india one is now cast now cast now itself say that what now instant uh, forecast so it is a short time weather forecast very very short time forecast for next hours what will happen earlier when we were discussing about the precipitation i was uh, saying that they were hail storm so hail storm cannot be predicted in advance of a yeah, one two days or two days it is very very difficult it can be predicted and our in advance so for predicting the hail storm this now cost is very useful so this is to warn the public so now cost is very very important but not important to agriculture for public safety this is very very important then the second type of forecast is short range forecast short a short term weather forecast issued for 24 hours what will happen tomorrow this is based on the model and based on the experience of the forecaster what will happen the next day 
So, 24 plus 24, this is being given, given for uh, 48 hours or 2 days, that is short range forecast. Then the third forecast is medium range forecast, medium. So, 3 to 10 days or um, 3 to 7 days like that. So, medium range forecast. A weather forecast issued for a period extend from 3 days to 7 days. So, how forecast goes? 1 hour, 2 days, then 3 to 7 days, then long range forecast, long range. I was saying about uh, East India forecast, when I was discussing about the synaptic and um, uh, mesoscale forecast, I was mentioning about uh, the long range forecast for south west monsoon season rainfall. So, here more than 7 days that is all, but it may go up to a season 90 days. Okay. Then the, the last type of forecast is seasonal climate forecast, though it is not differing from even long range forecast. In the case of the long range forecast, I told the methodology used is ARIMA model, statistical model. In the case of the seasonal climate forecast, this terminology was pronounced by Australian scientist and in Tamil Nadu, this type of information is being developed by employing a software, Rainman software. This we got it from our Australian government and this is being used for seasonal climate forecast. You must understand the difference between though these two forecast gives uh, the forecast for anticipated rainfall only up to a season of 90 days, they differ uh, very much. In the case of the long range forecast, you give forecast only for part of India and whole of the season part of India, suppose eastern India, what would be the rainfall? We never bothered about the state, we never bothered about the district, we never bothered about the talk. Similarly, we never bothered about the months of rainfall to be received, we bother about only seasonal rainfall. But in the case of seasonal climate forecast, both you can have spatial dimension as well as temporal dimensions. You can able to predict forecast rainfall for a particular village for different months of a season. Suppose a south west monsoon forecast is given in the seasonal climate forecast means it can be given for June, July, August and September. But such a thing is not available in the long range weather forecast. Then coming to the other part of the details of the different weather forecast. You could see very interestingly on the slides, now casting that we have discussed uh, under types of forecast, this is given by India Meteorological Department, India Meteorological Department. So, the forecasted weather elements are your thunderstorm, dust storm, cold and heat waves. These cold and heat waves we have uh, discussed already in the part of our uh, uh, lessons. So, this is the weather elements to be forecasted and now casting. Methods used synaptic as well as weather map. So, both are uh, very, very important. Then lead time 1 to 2 hours earlier of the events, 2 hours earlier of the events and the accuracy is 90 to 98 percent. If I say the hailstorm is to come by 11.30 or 12.30 by 10 o'clock means definitely at 90 percent probability the things will happen in a particular area. Then coming to the short range forecast, this is also again given by India Meteorological Department. Here the forecast covers what would be the cloud cover in the coming days and its uh, rainfall uh, quantity, temperature and the cyclone warning also this short range is being used and the methodology is synaptic and weather map and numerical weather prediction model that is advanced model and this stays for one day plus one day 80 to 90 percent. Then media range weather forecast, this is again given by IMD. Earlier it was given by National Center for Media and Range Weather Forecast. That institution has been amalgamated with IMD now. So, IMD takes the responsibility presently for issuing the medium range weather forecast. Here rainfall, temperature, relative humidity, wind speed, wind direction and the cloud cover are covered which are four most important for taking form decision especially for the crop management to reduce the risk. Then here they use two methods, global numerical weather prediction model. It is nothing but the same numerical weather prediction model, but something precise and also regional climatic model. So, these two models are being used. 
this is 3 to 10 days and accuracy is 70 to 75 days. Now, coming to the uh, other forecast, media range, there are two things. One is issued by the IMD, another one is by Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. Here, same weather parameters being covered, but we use a regional climate model. Here, the TNIU uses a regional climate model that I have uh, pointed out in the earlier slide also, this model being also. So, advancedly being given 7 days earlier and accuracy is 70 to 70 percent. Then long range forecast that we have discussed already, IMD, seasonal rainfall, statistical regression like ARIMA model, arithmetic regression integrated moving average model, 32, 40 days in advance of the events to be occurred and the accuracy is 60 percent. Now, seasonal climate forecast again TNIO, seasonal rainfall, here rainman software from Australia, then 52, 20 days earlier, 60 percent. One interesting thing is, when you start from now casting, the accuracy is 90 to 90 percent, short range 80 percent, media range 70 to 70 percent, then finally seasonal climate forecast 60 long range. So, when uh, for you forecast for more than 7 days, your accuracy gets reduced. That is the information to be derived from this uh, discussion. Now, continuing the same thing, who are the clients, how this uh, type of weather forecast is being uh, communicated to the farmers, such information we could see presently. So, now casting, the clients are public, only public. So, radio and the television and dailies are being used to communicate the message developed. Usefulness for agro adversary, it cannot be used for developing any agro adversary because the event is going to occur within an hour from the time now. So, we cannot prepare anything, anything. So, you, we cannot uh, prepare any agro adversary. Then uh, resolution state level. So, resolution means a coveraging point. Suppose uh, 5 into 5 meter, 30 into 30 meter, grid point level. So, here it is a state level. So, not for in a district level, state level. Short range, public including farmer. Farmers also can use this. Radio, television and dailies. And uh, agro advisory development, it is impossible because it is being given uh, one day plus another one day, two days only. So, we cannot prepare any advisory. Even it is prepared, it cannot be communicated to the farmers for taking action. But it is again uh, given to state level. level. Then media range for cost, mainly for farmers only, just to reduce the crop production risk. So, our ex-Honorable uh, Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, and uh, our Indira Gandhi, after seeing all the struggles of the farmers, they have developed uh, this medium range weather forecast center at a New Delhi and started functioning from, uh, I hope, from 1991 onwards. So, what they do is here, very interesting that we will be seeing at a later times, the forecast is um, developed at the district level, not the state level, district level. And they critically analyze what is the crop, standing crop, how the crop is there, is there any pest and disease and uh, based on the crop weather interaction, other, that is based on your um, uh, weather forecast, what will happen to the crops uh, requirement or crops uh, impact, then they prepare agro advisory and they communicate it to the selected farmers or farmers they give their mobile number to the concerned organization the message is being uh, given to those farmers, highly useful since there is a lead time of uh, more than three days to take farm decisions. Suppose if I say uh, that today is uh, oh, yeah, I say oh, first day, so if it, something will happen in fourth day, if I communicate by today itself, you can prepare yourself for the constant date. So this forecast is very, very useful to the farming community. Then media range forecast. Again, farmers, website, highly useful. This is for block level. This uh, median range further forecast is given by our Tamil Nadu Agricultural University in India. They use regional climate model. And if see state level, state level, not useful, not useful, district level, 80 percent useful. This is block level. Highly useful to the farmers because it covers only 50 to 60 villages. Then, um, Long range forecast, again highly useful for farmers, television, tailies and radio, moderately useful for developing your agro advisory. 
north, south, east and west India. That is the area they give it. Then another seasonal climate forecast given by TNAU to farmers. So, television, daily state department of agriculture website and uh, uh, so TNAU research station highly useful for preparing agro advisories and it is given at uh, district level. So, these are the some things we have uh, uh, learned on the types of weather forecast and some more things are available uh, in the next class that will be discussed. So, we have seen today the what is weather forecast and the, the what is the meteorological scale to be used, what are the methodology being used to develop a weather forecast and also different types of weather forecast, how they are useful to the farmers that we have seen. But one thing, you are not going to develop any um, weather forecast because the weather forecast development is such a wonderful uh, advanced technology. You need a, a very quick and a big computers that we do not have. So, please understand what is weather forecast, how is this weather forecast uh, you, to be used for developing agro-advisory is very, very important that we will be studying in the next class. Thank you very much.